Hey yo guys, how's everyone? It's me again, Lee Gaming, bring you a new deck which is the Mindful Samurai. This is the second version of the Samurai deck that I built. I did some reference and I don't think this deck is better than the previous version that I created. So you can take a look on that and you can let me know which one do you prefer. So basically, I'm using my scan to take a look at the back row with the support cards that I have to destroy the front row and the back row. It's all about destroying. Destroying is winning. So we have the standard combo. We have this big boss, a 7 star heater that can special summon if you have 2 6 samurai on the deck. And we have Chancellor because I don't have the third UR card. But this guy becomes uh, effective because of so much of monster be being destroyed in the graveyard. We have Zanzi, which is uh, not bad, 1800 beta, and in fact, is not bad as well. And this is the star of the deck, Hand of the Six Samurai. You will see him more often than any of the other rest because it has the ability to tribute any 1-6 Samurai to uh, destroy an enemy monster. So we have like Copy Knight that can use as a token to represent 6 Samurai for the destroyer effect. And next we have Yachin which allows us to destroy the back row with the Maifu Samurai skill looking at the back row as well. I use Tribute of the Doom because I was thinking the combo of removing my level 4, level 3 monster to the graveyard and powerful rebirth them and you know you know the wombo combo just to mirror wall to protect my monster it's quite effective I do not like wall disruption now because with the ancient gear going on because during a uh, better stage I can't activate at all so powerful rebirth and copy knight hope you enjoy the video so on the first game I was faced against a 30 that guy I was like oh it's gonna be easy win so it's not for the content of the replay but I would just like to show you guys what the hell is Konami doing he have 30 hand 30 card that I only have 20 just check this combo. I have my combo as well. Yet yeah, Yajin out just to hold on the turn. And he was using Fire Knight Island with all the new Hazy Frame, Fire Island Avatar. So on this, I'm pretty comfortable. I just set on my card, special summon my boss. And I just lag a bit for OTK. But look at this turn. That's sick. First. He activates the effect of this Fire King, Barong, and he just came on flooding his field. Look at look at this play. This is sick play. I was like, what the hell? How can a th thirty deck card become a twenty deck card in turn four? Luckily, my mirror come into hand, and I won the game. It's not easy, but that is life. Now I'm seeing a lot of um, E Hero play on the ladder, and I just know someone in my clan that got the King of Games with E Hero, so definitely it's wider. I'm looking into it. How does it help in the meta? But let's just take a look at the replay. Duel. This is not a good starting hand for me. I have a lot, of, a lot of support card which is useless. They have wall disruption and Brad Knight at the back row. I just use mirror wall to dodge the first attack because I have tribute of the doom. I use it, copy knight, destroy, and I send my six hand of six samurai. Use his effect, destroy again. But I know he has the bright light, so he's able to Norman summon and destroy monster in the graveyard. And now the elemental hero grace band comes up. I'm a mirror wall doing the work. Got one destroy. And hunt up the card. Yachin allows me to destroy the wall of destruction. 
And after that, it's kind of easy now. I just have to wait and hold. And he just leave with a mere 50 points, and that's it. So in order to for you guys to play six samurai, it is effect is pretty good, honestly. But there's just too much of combo going on, and you need a lot of bad rolls. So you have to pick your cards well to really fully make this deck functional. Next we challenge a middle edge mic with the ancient gear golem going on. This is not a good starting hand if you ask me but I do have my combo because I just want copy knight to be out when I'm I summon my hand of six samurai so I'm willing to take one attack and after that I just use copy knight and copy knight to destroy two of his front row. Easy peasy but just make sure that once you destroy one you have to special summon your big box in order for you to go later on them. and the damage is more than 2000 he can't activate his mirror one the next turn he set one to destroy my boy and here comes the boss and he's gone easy This deck is kind of fun, but it's kind of irritating as well, if you ask me. Because you have to care about your front row and back row as well. It's definitely, I would say, a tier 2 deck, not a tier 1, or tier 0. It's another 30 card. I don't know why so many people run into 30 card in the ladder, but they always manage to get the 2 cards on their hand. Uh -huh. That's quite surprisingly. How can they? How can they not break with this? I have this copy knight, so I know I can do some damage on him by destroying his injured guided animal controller. It's okay, I'm just taking it slow. And we pull off another guy, hit me. But it's alright because I have powerful rebirth. And I he used this life as well in machine which I don't think it, it matters at all. I just use the effect, destroy it, bring back my boss and Chancellor doing the work. This one combo you can use with the Chancellor and its effect is pretty cool. It allows you to destroy a monster but just that on that turn itself it can't go on attack. So I use it to compensate my big boss, but it's still doing his work, not bad at all. Final replay for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video. And remember to sub and give a like and leave your comments down below what kind of decks you like and do you think this version is better than the previous one? Just let me know what you thought. I'm trying to do another samurai video because there's a spell card that I'm really interested in using. I'm just thinking of what skill to go with. So be sure to watch out. I believe after this match I will just try to do a hazy frame one or the fire formation one, I'm not too sure. But I have to do king of game as well. So we shall see. So Yachin allows me to destroy the back row giving me easy life and I have the front row remover as well and the big boss is out I destroy and destroy as a warm worm but I was unlucky if you destroy my monster my chancellor can come out no it's okay I still get the deplier alright that's it for to, for now I hope you guys enjoyed the video have a good day good night signing off bye